Holy! I have just finished a two and a half hour video and oh my gosh I'm so glad it's done because I've been trying to finish my Royal International Air Tattoo 2018 video since the Royal International Air Tattoo 2018 which was in July last year. Jesus Christ! I have learned a lot about my editing software though including that it still crashes a fair amount. There was a lot of rage to be had. I felt like crashing and burning, which is rather poignant seeing as I crashed my car a few days ago. Yay! But you know, never mind. Things tend to come in pairs, right? So that's why the guy I've been seeing for a month decided to end things with me as well. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm not actually in a bad mood. It's very weird. Also, sorry the vlog is late and also I haven't done one again for a week. Us. Let's start with explanations of why this one's late. I was at a gig last night seeing Enter Shikari. Nate Wells is editing. Um, that video should also hopefully be on my channel. I'll put a link to it in the description. I don't really understand how YouTube works anymore for filming live videos at gigs. It seems to be okay, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, hopefully it's there too. As you can tell, I had a really good time. Here's a couple of pictures of me from the night. As you can see, at the end of the night when I was covered in confetti, I looked a lot less graceful. Yikes. However, I had an absolutely amazing time and both the song you saw a clip of there, which is Take My Country Back and one of the other songs, which is Airfield, both actually kind of reduced me to tears uh, because they're songs that are very close to my heart. Uh, they're both off the newer album, actually. I've, I've liked Ed Shikari since, gosh, since I start, really. But yeah, they're both songs that mean an incredible amount to me and the gig was just, it, it's genuinely changed my view on a few things about myself which is nice. On to the other thing I mentioned then, so I had a car accident, it's not, like no one's hurt so it's fine, um, it's going through insurance now, it's a pain but it's one of those things, it was a really bad like icy snowy day and it just happened and I eh, can't really say a lot, it stressed me out and um, I'm actually off work at the moment so not with sick but I actually went off work for a holiday for a week. Uh, just because I needed to give myself a bit of a break uh, because I have been essentially burning myself out really I think um, not because I've been like doing the two jobs thing but I think more that I've been doing that and not allowing myself to have time for myself whenever I did I was constantly thinking about work or what I should do and it, it just didn't work so I've actually taken some time off for myself now which is nice I guess we can talk about the other thing as well um <laughs> I was seeing a guy for about a month, um, he knew us as trans, it was all fine, and we, we, it was really nice, we initially went out for a drink, and he'd come over a couple of times, and we'd like, start watching Grand Tour or something, um, and unfortunately for me, but fortunately for him, someone who he had felt attracted to for a very long time, um, but was in a relationship, had basically reached a point where they were able to date again, and so they took the opportunity with them. I don't think I'm really that upset by it because I know I'm not in a position really to offer anything myself anyway. It was sort of just a casual thing. Um, so it's kind of like we broke up but we weren't really together. I don't know. It was weird. Like I was really angry initially and then I was like this isn't actually a big deal and he's a really nice guy and maybe we'll still stay friends. So we'll see. One other thing I've actually done for myself though is I've got an exercise bike which I'll I'm not going to show you because there's a lot of stuff on my sideboard right now. It's a bit messy. But I got a folding um, exercise bike which literally just sits around the corner that you can't see. My hand isn't even on there. But it's just around the corner. In fact, let me see if I can show you. Obviously this is it folded up. Obviously I don't actually do this. <laughs> the reason I got that is because I want to lose weight partly for surgery. Also because in June, when it's my birthday, I want to be able to look at myself in the mirror for my first 
birthday hopefully as me and think damn you look good girl i'm 90 percent sure that i probably won't but that's the hope and plan so i'm eating healthier um cut out fizzy drinks from my diet now as well I'm going to be doing at least half an hour of my exercise bike a day um i didn't do it yesterday but i did go into a mosh pit for a fair amount of a night so i feel like that was enough exercise <laughs> there's not going to be a lot in this vlog i think um this week itself is actually a really big week for me so i think probably the following vlog is going to be a lot bigger i have the gender clinic this week for my surgical review and i am terrified I don't actually really understand what I'm doing at the surgical review. I think they basically are reviewing like my mental state to check I'm okay to have surgery. Uh, obviously I want surgery, it will make relationships a lot easier and doing the deed a lot easier as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's a bit scary. Um, as I said before, my, one of my best friends is going with me, um, they're driving me there and back. Well obviously they'd be driving me back otherwise I would be stuck there. It should be a nice day. I've kind of explained to them that it's like a really, really big day to me. It's like, I don't know. It's like getting permission to be me, I guess. I, I think that's how I'm viewing it in my head. And so I wanted it to be a really nice day. So I've said I'm gonna like take them to lunch or something as a thank you for going with me anyway, which I've said is unnecessary, but I really want French food and there's a nice fresh restaurant. So I'm sure we'll be going. But yeah, it should be a nice day. I'm not sure how I'm going to react, whether I'll be crying, whether I'll be smiling, um, whether I'll be good news, whether I'll be bad news, because obviously I've had the issues with my um, blood, blood, blood's coming back weird as well. So I'm not really sure what this week will bring. In terms of channel stuff, I've started kind of doing enough videos to keep me going for a couple of weeks. Um, there's an SCP one coming out this week, uh, Planet Coast one coming out next week, um, and there's a couple more that I've kind of got in the pipeline to come out as well and then there is my Royal International SRT video to come out which is two and a half hours long so I'm not even sure if that's going to fit on YouTube because it's massive we'll see <laughs> um but yeah it's this week's going to be weird hopefully in a really good way I don't really actually have much more to say not really a lot has happened in the past week this week as I say I've got Jen Clerk actually on Friday as well I've got my implant as well so this week is a big big week Oh gosh, I'm trying to be healthy with this healthy eating and ugh.